Let us now look at question number 9 which is the question on the variation of bending moment diagram. The question says a cantilever beam has the square cross section 10 mm by 10 mm. It carries a transverse load of 10 newtons like that. Considering only bottom fibers of the beam which is the correct representation of longitudinal bending stress. Okay. So let's have a look at this. Right. First of all, we need to understand one thing that sigma is equal to m into y upon i. That is the value of the bending stress. All right. Now in this scenario, in this scenario, you have four choices and you have to tell that which one of these is the representation of the variation of bending stress okay, with respect to this. Uh, cantilever beam which is loaded at the center of the mid span with a load of 10 newtons with a square cross section. So first of all the moment of inertia would be constant. So moment of inertia would be if you take uh, 10 into 10 cube by 12 this would be your moment of inertia. Okay now you can see this that the bending moment is basically 0 at the mid span and it is maximum at the leftmost uh, end of the beam which is the fixed end. Okay, So this will be 0 over here and you will have the maximum bending moment over here. Maximum bending moment means maximum stress Okay, and the variation is always linear. You can see this. It is a linear uh, variation. So the options B and option D are out of the game. You cannot have parabolic variation in such a scenario. You will always have a linear variation. Now the question remains what is the magnitude of the maximum bending stress. So let's have a look at that now. Okay. So first of all let's find the bending moment. Bending moment would be 10 Newton into 1 meter that is 1000 mm. Let's keep it in mm because we will be then having the uh, mega pascal unit. So when you put it over here, so let's uh, get the value for y also. This is the value for y, 5 mm. So sigma is equal to 10 into 1000 into y which is 5 upon i which is 10 into 10 to the power 3 and 12 will come upside. Okay, so this and this gets cancelled. This goes you are left with only 60 mp. So the answer is option A. Again a very very simple but a very conceptual question over here because it is asking you to find the longitudinal bending stress variation. So it is very clear that your bending moment would be 0 at the center. So your bending stress would be 0 because m is proportional to sigma okay and at the leftmost fixed end your bending moment would be maximum and thus the uh, bending stress would be maximum and it is a linear uh, variation so these two things go out of the picture and then you just find out the magnitude of the maximum bending stress. So I hope you understood this entire explanation. Now let's move on to question number 10 in the next video.